observed. I am. Then let me own I'm an aesthetic sham. This air severe is but a mere veneer. This cynic smile is but a wile of guile. This costume chaste is but good taste misplaced. Let me confess, a languid love for lilies does not blight me. Lank limbs and haggard cheeks do not delight me. I do not care for dirty greens by any means. I do not long for all one sees that's Japanese. I am not fond of uttering platitudes in stained glass attitudes. In short, my medievalism's affectation, born of a morbid love, of admiration. If your anxious photo shine in the high aesthetic line as a man of culture rare, you must get up all the germs of the transcendental terms and plant them everywhere. You must lie upon the daisies and discourse the novel phrases of your complicated state of mind. The meaning doesn't matter if it's only idle chatter of a transcendental kind. And everyone will say, as you walk your mystic way, if this young man expresses himself in terms too deep for me. Why, what a very singularly deep young man this deep young man must be. eloquent in praise of the very dull old days which have long since passed away. And convince them, if you can, the reign of good Queen Anne was culture's palmiest day. Of course you will poo-poo whatever's fresh and new and declared it's crude and mean. For art stopped short in the cultivated court of the Empress Josephine. And everyone will say, as you walk your mystic way, if that's not good enough for him, which is good enough for me, why, what a very cultivated kind of youth this kind of youth must be. Then a sentimental passion of a vegetable fashion must excite your languid spleen. An attachment I'll pledge to a bashful young potato or a not too French French bean. Though the Philistines will jostle, you will rank us in a parcel in the high aesthetic band. If you walk down Piccadilly with a poppy or a lily in your medieval hand. And everyone will say, as you walk your flowery way, if he is content with a vegetable love, which would certainly not suit me. Why won't a most particularly pure young man, this pure young man must be. Be.